okay guys about your love life now and career so someone is very hysterical here okay and really rushing to get to someone really trying to reach out to someone to try to change someone's mind here okay i really see you doing that because someone they they they've discovered uh they've they've discovered the truth about a you know a situation here whether it's that you're married or this is that yeah you, indeed you try to steal from them okay as well as this could be you know um you, you were with their family member, okay? So someone, they've, they've discovered something and someone is pretty much upset. I'm getting someone is upset here. So it's the, you know a connection is dying because someone they've uncovered the truth about a situation here. But someone is you know pretty upset you know uh, because of the deceit. Okay, your deceitfulness. You know, and it's not to say you know um, someone is stuck in a situation here. You're the one who's stuck. You're, you're in that queen of wands frequency, okay? But like someone, they're like moving on because they see that, you know, you cannot be trusted and they're not going to waste their time with you, you know? You know, also it's like <laughs> someone is like literally trying to get to someone here. That's what I see, Okay. So you may not live with this spouse. You may have this spouse overseas. As well as this could be, you know, you are in a relationship with a family member of theirs who is overseas. And this family member is jealous of them. This could be a sibling or a cousin. Okay, or this could just be someone who is, you know, maybe the same country, different state, different parish, different county. And it's pretty much who you, you know, left this person for. Who you had relations with why this person is so upset I mean for some of you if it was someone else other than that person but I feel like you know Scorpio I feel like you intentionally had relations with that person because your intention was to hurt this person who you really and truly love I mean you're just your 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 thought your conception of love is very sick and twisted I'm just being honest with you. And this if this does not resonate with you, I'm not talking to you. Okay? It's the same for you. But I'm saying the truth is because like for me, I I I've listened to other readers and they seem to not be able to pinpoint who is the problem, but it's you. I'm not going to beat around a bush. There's no way you're going to learn because some people, they're in a delusional state. So when you, you, you keep interchanging the roles, oh, this is, could be you or the other person you pick a side. Then you find delusional people, they, they take the side of the victim and they will never learn. But I'm telling you, this is you. You know you did that. Your perspective of love, perception of unlove, of love is distorted and sick. But the same, oh, you put yourself in a trap. Maybe that's why you're in such a mental anguish now because your intention was to severely hurt this person, but you got severely hurt because instead of them being hurt and angry, they just moved on. This could be you, you're in a relationship, you intended to use someone for sex here. You, you, you know, you, you think that you would cheat them out of their energy and you know, this would really piss them off and you'd get a rise out of this, you being an asshole. But this person, they don't do that. This person is your karma. Who, whichever one of you this is. This person, they're just moving along. Now this person, they could have Aquarius highly aspected. Like specifically Moon in Aquarius. These people know how to detach from their emotions. Yeah, they may feel upset. 
they may feel greatly upset like Im- intensely but you know there's always that 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 frequency to just to support certain okay. other frequencies and so when we you know someone really feels angry and intensely you know where you know someone they feel really 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 emotional and just really really hurt they have a an emotion to substantiate that you know to substantiate you know that you know um pain on which they just detach in the most beautiful way and so i'm just telling you this right now that you know you wanted to get a rise out of this person because you know they're emotional and they were emotionally invested into you which is why you shouldn't have done that but you thought they were gonna stick around but it is because of the hurt why they detach now with this person they didn't feel so much maybe they would have stayed and you know play that five ones frequency with you and argue but the truth is they're not doing that they're not doing that they or they did not do that however long that was they just detached and just moved along you feel what I'm trying to say and so it is you who in turn got hurt your feelings your ego got bruised okay moving on to career here I see where you know now if you worked with your spouse or whoever this is you work with they're leaving a connection they're leaving the job because they realize that you know you are obsessed with this person you're the problem you could have been lying on this person that they were stuck on you and it's been proven now that you're the one stuck on them you're spying on them so i see where you know you're going to be needing help at work because there's going to be a lot of work, a lot of heavy load for you to carry at work. Because your spouse who was working with you, helping you out, or whoever this was, you know, who was helping you out. This could even be a family member, you know, who was supporting you. And they're upset to find out that this person from your past is still, you know, addicted to them. Even though you said all of this, all of that about them, it's proven now that you're a liar. You are lying on this person because you're the one who's obsessed with them. And so people, the group of people realizing that you're petty, you're being abandoned, some of you. That's the honest truth. And so, you know, there's 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 a need for support here. That's, you know, that's the ones that I also saw right there. A need for support because people are realizing now it, it was you. You're the jealous one. You're the obsessive one. Okay? You're the one who's been stalking and spying. This person, they have frankly moved on. It was all a facade. You were putting up, you know, a, a facade. And so pretty much, you know, <laughs> people are just like, okay, they're not helping you to torment this person anymore. They're not aiding you in stalking this person anymore. They're just walking off. They're walking away because it's so obvious that, you know, you're obsessed with this person. You're stalking this person. You're the spiteful person here. And look at that. A fourth cups at the bottom of the deck, moon in, in, in Pisces. So I'm getting confirmations for all, especially, well, the water signs because I've done, you know, this is the last of the water sign. Um, okay, I've done, you know, for... Uh, uh, Pisces and then Cancer and now this is Scorpio I believe I yeah I did Pisces first then Cancer and now Scorpio so it's like you know moon and Pisces yeah people they they now see you know what's within your subconscious you can't hide anymore you know people they see you you're being exposed that's also an aspect of the moon and Pisces you being exposed your true form being exposed you're exposed the clear the, the higher the monkey climbs the more he's exposed so <laughs> could be the only with the sagittarius <laughs> i don't know are you foreigner or someone who's got sagittarius highly aspected whether this is you sag rising a, a, a high climbing monkey okay no offense 
okay, or sad and sad. You know, you fu you you love the monkey business, okay. <laughs> or you know, Jupiter and Sag, you obsessed with the monkey business. You feel what I'm trying to say, but you know, you've been exposed, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave it right there for you guys, okay. But, you know, that is that, you know, hopefully if you live through this, you will, you know, learn from your mistakes. Namaste. Mwah.